This is my favorite part. I would imagine some lucky politician somewhere along the way probably had a date up here. I am the first artist in residence at San Francisco City Hall, celebrating the building's 100th birthday by doing 100 drawings in roughly 100 days. And then it's the fifth largest dome structure in the world. Maybe because there's all this gold around us, it just feels very royal and important. My whole motivation for this is taking what I feel like is the underappreciated landmark in San Francisco and trying to get people to celebrate it. I've lived in San Francisco for the last 21 years. I moved here at 19 to go to art school. I do participate in the gallery world, but I'm much more attracted to like a t-shirt on a guy in the street that causes a conversation. And this body of work is a much larger conversation with, I hope, everyone that lives here. City Hall is all of ours. And if you live here and you pay taxes, it's yours too. When the Arts Commission designed this project for me, somewhere in the initial meetings when they were like, well, how is anybody gonna know that you're there? And I said, well, I could wear a vest like I work at Target, you know? The other thing I asked for was an office. I'm like literally breathing in the disintegrating vapors of old blueprints. If I'm gonna sit here and ink a hundred drawings, I should get absorbed into the building's history as much as possible. Jim Rolfe was the mayor in power when City Hall was built, and I included him because he was a big proponent of the building. If you look at things that were going on in San Francisco before the fire of 1906, it was a fairly corrupt place. The guys in charge of building the City Hall previous to this pocketed a lot of that money and corners were cut. When the earthquake and fire hit, that thing fell to bits. The citizens are thinking, this is our center of government? As it got time to rebuild it, we had to do it in a way that showed that we were rising up from tragedy, to the point of the phoenix being a symbol of our city. So the idea that I would have an opportunity to work in this building, let alone have access to the parts that aren't public, it's a privilege. I get to call home and be like, I have an office in City Hall, in like a badass uniform but the fact that in the three months that I've been in here, even the security guards don't know where I am. I also drew Willie Brown because they still, to this day, refer to this as Willie's house. And I decided to honor people that are as significant culturally to San Francisco. Robin Williams, Herb Cain, because he wrote infinite articles that engaged citizens. Jose Saria, the first openly gay political candidate. Fausto Vitello, who was the founder of Thrasher Magazine, somebody I consider to be a real beacon of culture that brought me out here. I really do deeply feel an obligation as a guy who's lived here for 20 years to like engage the new San Franciscan and for the first time since the gold rush we have an enormous amount of people moving here. I'm trying to work with what's happening and, and not just like draw swords on everybody that isn't exactly like me and didn't move here for the same reasons I did, you know? They're moving here for really good jobs and I don't fault them for that. But I feel like it's my obligation to give them a reason to give a shit about the things that have been here long before they were. It isn't just your job or the technology that are here. The bunny is my connection to my past and my circle of friends that I grew up with. I hit him in a, not every drawing, but in a lot. I wanted them to still read as my drawings, even if the subject matter looked foreign to my audience. And it's kind of like me, like I'm hiding in the back corner of this building. <laughs>